bagong mga kaw nagkinikiminas. <laughs> try my best to say yes when I can. Of course, when I'm attending to my kids, I really won't. Pero, or kung nagmamadali, diba? Pero, I would resort. But, that is not yet going to happen. We don't know yet when. We are still enjoying this place as our home. And, I hope na, just like you guys, siguro, diba? Kapag nasabay kayo, it's a place of rest, you know, and it's private property. So, I hope that you guys wouldn't be offended when we get shocked when we go inside or ask us for pictures while we're having lunch or when we have just woken. But then, in our home, I really, really hope that you guys would respect our privacy and um, realize that we're also humans and we need our home to feel what we need to feel when we're home. Sorry, we know. Because... Honestly, we're super happy that you want to meet us or that you want to see us when you go here to Siargao. Pero, di naman po namin pinatay yung bahay namin para masukin. Um, and also, we feel that we are safe and that it is a place that we can, you know, just enjoy being with each other in private with our family. pasok sa bahay namin kasi uh, wala pong meet at saka um, it's supposed to be a B&B or a bag self. We would say yes when we can but may mga times na hindi lang talaga namin, hindi ko lang talaga kaya, hindi lang talaga namin kaya and I hope that if you guys really under watch our family or you know, un, um, support us and love us sana, you would also understand na tao lang tao lang din kami kagaya niyo <laughs> marami din kami mga responsibilities and kailangan gawin especially we have three kids so yun and also you know the peace the peace and simplicity and being able to enjoy this paradise for what it is parang ang daya naman if sabihin niyo sa akin na parang kung ayaw mo mo pa picture wag ka lumabas eh <laughs> diba paano ako hindi lalabas but of course, I also hope that you would understand that um, I'm human also. And there are reasons, there are a lot of reasons why I moved here to the island. But one of that is um, for yourselves. But So yeah, of course, um, I made sure to make it a point to say yes. More. And I would always say yes if I can. We would say yes. May mga, may mga, marami din nagpapapicture sa amin na minsan buong time ginawa lang namin sa jacking horses. Come your stress relievers. We love knowing and I find it amazing that there are a lot of you that think that our life out here is something to admire or something to achieve. Basically, we have a routine. We keep up with one. It works for us as parents because it allows me and Filmar to do our own thing or to do important stuff um, while taking care of them. So, yung nap time nila, I take that. So, dati, nagdono lang ako and I expect people to understand na, wala, I quit showbiz na, so go figure na lang. <laughs> but then, now I understand that that's not the case because of our YouTube channel. And... The last thing I want is for you guys to misinterpret it or think that it means I don't appreciate all of your support. Of course, I find it super cool that, you know, you love watching our videos and seeing more of our kids every day or that they have... For me, it's just not pressuring yourself to actually begin. More like just to do something, to start doing something. Tapos ako every day, nagahanap lang talaga ako ng mag-work. Tapos kapag ka tinatamad ako or hindi, then no. Until, I actually, when, nung artista pa ako, ganun yung ginagawa ko. Pero na-realize ko na that doesn't really work for me because kapag nagtitaping, lagi kang puyat kapag nag-shooting. So, yung 6pm, masyadong unrealistic yun. But, no, no slimming supplements for me. I would rather do it the healthy and natural way. Yeah. Since I've been doing it a while, minsan nag invento na lang ako, especially because puro cardio lang. But I do follow um, some YouTubers that give and share good workouts. And um, I think meron din silang mga beginner options or like iba-iba yung length ng mga workouts nila. But also, I really like them kasi 
alam mo na they know what they're doing with Natasha. Her workouts are... You eat! You eat food so you don't go hungry. Um, starving yourself so that you will lose weight or achieve a certain body goal. If, diba? if you're getting hungry, it means you're not doing it right. Hindi. Hindi nakakapayat ang pag-inom ng juice. Nakakagutom yun. <laughs> ang nakakapayat is ang pag-work up at pag -kaltaw. Once a day lang sa hapon, unless mag-swimming, so additional bonus workout na yun. But... 20 minutes of like a hit workout, high intensity interval workout, kasi yun lang yung kaya as a um, breakfast, lunch, and dinner, and then minsan just like merienda sa hapon. The go signal by my doctor six weeks postpartum, so that included running and like exercises that are less than that, but extreme sports after three months pa yan. And so I'm just taking it easy doing. It's been harder because wala pa kaming kitchen. So kailangan ko bilhin yung snack. But most of the time, it's butong. Coconut, um, the meat and the water. Para, or any fruit. Fruits talag. By consulting your OB, a lot of people ask me when it's safe for them to work out post-CS. But honestly, it really depends on the body and on the person and how you heal, how fast you heal. Personally, I was because it's fun, diba? So if you're not feeling it, then you shouldn't, there's no reason for you to force yourself. And just take a break, take the break that you, that you want. And then when you get it, the next day, you're good to go. By exercising, by making sure that you work out and do enough cardio to burn all of that fat. There's no such thing as only doing exercises for your tummy. To lose weight, you do everything. You work. So that's why that's all I eat most of the time. I love seafood as well. But if you don't, diba? Diwag. Eat what you want, but eat them in moderation and make sure to choose um, the healthier options as much as I don't work out. That's what I do. I do whatever I want. Because forcing yourself to work out every day parang takes out the fun in it. And the point is that you're able to do it regularly and you look forward to doing it. By making sure that you eat right, you eat well. But what that is, is up to you. It depends on what you prefer. You know, like, don't be hating. I love vegetables and I love, and I don't, uh, my stomach doesn't accept dairy so so by uh, for me personally it's more it's mostly diastasis recti friendly exercises and i shared my favorites over in our youtube channel happy islander so you can just look for it there i don't like feeling hungry because when i do i just go a wall and start binging and that's what's not good and also it helps me perform better throughout the day like exercise i have more energy Yes, I am a breastfeeding mama, which is also why I don't believe in going hungry or feeling so deprived of food. I this I need to eat. I need to get in all of the nutrients also for my milk, for my baby. No, I don't do intermittent fasting. I eat whenever I'm hungry. I eat whenever I feel I need to. And I feel that's also what helps me really maintain the healthy diet that Yes, I do eat rice. Rice has a lot of nutrients that we need or that our body needs to stay healthy. And so I do not avoid that. And rice is yummy. Rice tastes good. It's all a matter of making sure that you are eating just the right amount of rice or any other type of food that you want to eat. I prefer um, colored rice like So here is why I don't do or post meal plans because I don't want people to think that I ha I'm telling them what they should eat so that they can lose weight. That's that's up to you. You lose weight by moving, by exercising.